guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I will be recommending some fall spooky mystery kind of reads that I've been really enjoying and which I think are perfect for the fall autumn time. What word do you prefer? I think autumn sounds just very, it sounds better than fall. So autumn reads, I don't know. <laughs> Grab yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and like a little snack and then I will give you guys some bookish recommendations. First of all, let me know what your favorite season is. I think personally my favorite season is summer. It can be really hot during the summer but you can just be outside like so much and even in the night it's still super light outside and you can just chill with friends and I personally think it's the best time of the year but I do understand why people love autumn slash fall. It's just really cozy. Unfortunately here in the Netherlands when fall comes around the corner it is just raining like 24 7 well not really 24 7 but like a lot of the times it's raining i don't enjoy fall because of that but you can stay nice and inside have a little cup of tea a read so i do understand why people love the fall but for me it means it's gonna get colder and colder and colder and i do not like the cold. <laughs> okay, so I have four books that I'm gonna recommend to you guys to read during the fall. These books all have like witchy or magical, mysterious fall vibes, maybe even sometimes a little bit spooky. I feel like these books are just perfect for that kind of feeling, for that kind of vibe. Let's just start off with my favorite book on this whole pile. Okay, not really my favorite because there's one in here that's like super obvious. Okay, maybe let's just start with that one because you can all guess it. And that is Harry Harry Potter. I mean, this is something that I shouldn't even have to say to you guys. You guys are probably starting your read or your reread of one of the Harry Potter books. I'm currently rereading Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I'm rereading all of these books in the illustrated edition. These drawings, they just add something to the story. I also haven't read the Harry Potter series in English. So this is all a slightly new experience to me, even though I've already read all the Harry Potter books. These drawings are just so detailed and so pretty. I think that me as a kid would have loved to be able to read the Harry Potter story like this because it just adds so much like ambiance to it and you can really picture everything that Harry is going through. Oh my god, it just gives me such nice vibes. Harry Potter is always a good option. Okay, so obvious choice out of the way. Let's start with my favorite of the other three books that I want to recommend you guys to read during the fall times. And that is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This is the first book in a trilogy and this is a murder mystery. But what gives me a lot of these like cozy vibes is because it takes place in a boarding school. I love that element in a story so much. I mean, look at Harry Potter, that's also like a boarding school. So this story takes place at Ellingham Academy, which is a famous private school in Vermont. It was founded by Albert Ellingham, an early 20th century tycoon who wanted to make a wonderful place full of riddles, twisting pathways, and gardens. A place, he said, where learning is a game. So like that element already gives me kind of like mysterious vibes. In 1936, shortly after the school opened, Ellingham's wife and daughter, Iris and Ellis, were kidnapped. The only real clue was a mocking riddle listing methods of murder, signed with a frightening pseud pseud pseudonym. I don't know how to say that in English. I'm sorry, it's not my mother language. Signed with a frightening pseudonym, truly devious. It became one of the greatest crimes of American history. Something like that could never happen again, of course. Years later, true crime aficionado Stevie Bell is set to begin her first year at Ellingham Academy, and she has an ambitious plan. She will solve this cold case. That is, she will solve the case when she gets a grip on her demanding new school life and her housemates. The inventor, the novelist, the actor, the artist, and the jokester. But something strange is happening. Truly Devious makes a surprise turn, and death revisits Ellingham Academy. The past has crawled out of its grave. Someone has gotten away with murder. I never expected to really enjoy a murder mystery novel. I don't know why, because I always loved them in a TV show kind of form. For some reason, didn't expect to like it in a book form because it would just be too long. But this story is told from two different kinds of timelines. So from the 1930s, where you follow the beginning of Ellingham Academy and this murder and the kidnapping that happened, and you are trying to solve together with the timeline of Stevie, like in the now, who kidnapped the wife 
and daughter or who murdered someone. So I have read the first two books in this trilogy. The third one is coming out in January and I think it's my most anticipated read. There are a lot of characters in this book so I did have to get used to that in the beginning so a little bit of a warning. This book has just such amazing vibes with friendships and the mystery and murders and this school seems like amazing. There are a lot of like puzzles and mysterious pathways and just things that you do not expect. I just love this book incredibly much and I want more people to read this one and the sequel which is called The Vanishing Stair which is also just as great as the first one. I'm loving this series until so far so I cannot wait for the third book. The third book that I'm recommending you guys is The Wicked Deep by Shea Earnshaw. I just read this book. Look at the beautiful holographic cover. Our main character Penny lives in this town called Sparrow which has been cursed for over 200 years because back in the 1800s there were three sisters in this town who were accused of being witches because they seduced men and it couldn't just be their beauty. There must be something behind all of this and they must be witches and put spells on everyone. So the whole town came together and drowned these three sisters. Now Sparrow is cursed and every single summer the three witches, like the three sisters, uh, they come back and take a girl's body and lure boys out into the water and drown them. This has been going on for so many years but then all of a sudden an outsider comes into the town and Penny and this outsider, they are starting to get to know each other better, but they do not trust each other. So that is all that you should know. I really enjoyed this story. It is quite short too. It's like about 300 pages. It was definitely not my favorite book of all time, but it was a very fun read. I loved the writing style and the mystery of these three sisters and this whole curse. I loved it so much. It's not a very scary read, but it's just a little bit spooky. And then the last book that I'm recommending to you guys, I just finished this one and I really enjoyed it. But first I'm gonna take a sip of my tea, which is already lukewarm. <laughs> uh, no, but the last book that I read is The City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. I love Victoria Schwab. I've read three of her books. They are all... Oh my god, just a realization. They are all the first book in a series, but I haven't continued, continued on with any of them. So bad. But this is, I believe, a middle grade book because we follow a 12 year old girl who is uh, friends with a ghost. And the funny thing is that her parents are kind of ghost hunters. They had a special word for that, but I do not remember it. Her mom is obsessed with ghosts and she truly believes in them. Her father's more of like the historian of the family who wants to know more of the facts about, for instance, old buildings. Cassidy has a ghost friend called Jacob. Ah, oh, one of the most sassy characters that I've read this year and I love Jacob so incredibly much. So her parents are kind of like this ghost hunting team and they are starting to film for their new TV show. So together with the whole family, they are gonna go to Edinburgh. Edinburgh, I always find that so difficult to pronounce. This city is so haunted. Something else is going on. Cassidy gets kind of like wrapped up in this ghost adventure and it was so much fun. I haven't had this much fun with a book in a really long time. Even though it was a middle grade, Cassidy didn't per se read as a 12 year old. She was just so adventurous and very smart and I love the whole friendship in this book and I love the traveling aspect and ghosts and there is a second book out. I believe it's called The Death Tunnel or something like that. It takes place in Paris because you do have like those weird tunnels there which are all made up of bones which is crazy. That exists like for real. I hope that you guys have found some books that I recommended which kind of took your interest. I loved all of them. I really enjoyed the stories. Leave your recommendations in the comments down below as well. If you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can also follow me on all of my social media pages so because I'm a booktuber of course I have Goodreads but I also have Snapchat, Instagram plus an email address and links to those are also in the description bar down below. Thank you guys so much for for watching and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!